Hey folks, this is E. Schlenz, also known as Audible Agent, and today I'm going to do my Lady Locks 1,000 subscriber submission. She's doing a giveaway. Uh, she just hit 1,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Congratulations, Lady Locks. That's quite an achievement. Um, yeah, I've seen a couple of your videos, and I really love the energy, love what you're doing. This giveaway she's doing, I think the whole premise is to try to kind of spread the love in the community. Uh, so you're supposed to shout out some other channels which have inspired you. Also mention some other channels that are doing giveaways right now. And uh, in addition, you're supposed to pick a lock, any lock on video. And uh, yeah, I think this is just to drum up more uh, communication and connections in the community. And I think it's a fantastic idea. So I got turned on to this because of one of my subscribers. His name is Nigby. Uh, he's a lock picker. He's a great guy. He does. Uh, he, he interacts with me a lot, which I really appreciate when I put a, uh, a video up on my channel. Um, you know, me personally, I, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with this channel. Honestly, I, I think for now it's it's just about lock picking. Even though I I have a lot of different hobbies. Uh, I had to upload videos to do my Lockpickers United belt requests anyway, and then I started realizing I've got some things to say. So I've started to put some videos out. I have a very low subscriber count, and that's just fine. Um, but Nigby has been uh, pretty consistently interacting with me on my channel, and I really appreciate it. So uh, he's the first person I want to shout out in terms of uh, other channels to go check out. And I'll leave uh, links to these other channels in, in my video description. Um, along with that, I want to give a shout out to Lady Locks again for uh, doing this, this giveaway. I think it's super awesome and thank you for putting it together. Um, in terms of other pickers or lock sportists who have really inspired me, uh, there's three names that come to mind. Michael Gilchrist who picks some really, really difficult locks, black belt locks. And I think he does a really good job of talking through what he's doing as he's picking, which is something I try to do in my videos because I find it extremely helpful to try to get into the mind of somebody who's picking a lock that I'm still learning to pick and really understand what the thought process is, what states the lock is going through, what he's feeling, he or she. Um, and I think Michael Gilchrist, on top of having incredible lock picking skills, just does a fantastic job of explaining what's going on. Uh, another person who just has fabulous videos is Artichoke2000. And that might be a popular name. Actually, some of these names you guys might already know. I don't really know for sure. I'm still kind of new to this community. But uh, Artichoke 2000 specifically does some really fantastic film work with uh, kind of a digital microscope that is up close in the uh, in the plug of the lock as he's picking it, explaining what's going on. Just does a really fantastic job, not only of capturing what's happening inside the lock as he's picking it, but also of explaining uh, the the process he goes through for picking locks. Again, he also picks some very, very challenging locks. And then the last person I wanted to mention, which I think is also a very popular YouTuber, is DMAC. Uh, this guy has fantastic camera presence. I love his videos on how he creates challenge locks. I've learned a lot from those. He does some really cool things with like rattlesnake pins, uh, piston pins, just really, really cool stuff. Um, and he's got a great attitude and I think he is fantastic for the community. Um, so those are the, the, the channels I wanted to shout out. Um, in terms of giveaways, again, I'm sort of new to the community, so I'm still learning who's out there and who's doing what. I know Jack Fox is doing a giveaway. Um, I've seen several of his videos. Again, fantastic YouTuber, very good lock picker. And as I understand it from Lady Locks, uh, Terry B. Pickin is also doing some giveaways. So I'll link to those channels as well. Uh, in terms of the lock I'm going to pick today, um, you'll see in front of you I've got two very nice anodized blue federal locks, so the 200A and the 90A. I'll be picking this 90A. Um, just a quick note on these, in, in uh, my opinion, these pick exactly like an American lock. They've got good tolerances, uh, keyway is easy to work with, 
not too bad. Um, but I think these are beautiful locks. And there's something about the Federal brand that really appeals to me. I don't know if it's the name and sort of the implications that that might have around the lock or if it's the, the build quality or what, but I think these are really nice locks to have. And uh, they're they're not super easy to find. You know, I think I got these on eBay, but these aren't locks that I've ever seen in like a hardware store or anything. So um, yeah, with that, I'll get on to the picking and we'll wrap up this video. All right, so as I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna be picking this Federal Lock 90A. This is a six pin lock. Let's see, show the bidding. Nothing too crazy. Uh, this lock picks a lot like an American lock, so I'm going to be using a very similar strategy. Uh, I'm going to be using this 50 thousandths tension wrench top the keyway. This is from Covert Instruments. I'm going to be using a Peterson H4 and 18 thousandths. And go all the way back a lock, apply about medium tension, start feeling for binders. So I'm under pin six, it's binding. I think I got a click there. Maybe not, might push it up too far. Let's start that again. Okay, pin six got some core rotation. Pin five feels like it's binding. Little click on five. Four is binding. Couple clicks on four. I think this is two or three. Ooh, deeper false set. Okay, I think we're past all the serrations, so now I'm gonna try to look for spools so i'm looking for counter rotation i'm on pin one i think yep pin one's giving me counter rotation okay click but i lost my false set two is bound really hard and is sitting very low so let's move him up okay got our false set back let's see if two's good i think two's good go back to the back of the lock Six, five, I'm under four, I think. Four is really bound, and even when I let off tension, it doesn't want to move, so I'm just gonna leave that guy alone. Three, uh, I think this is, yeah, three is giving me counter rotation. Got it open. So, there we go, that was the Federal Lock 90A, not too much of a challenge, picks a lot like an American lock. It's actually a pretty fun lock to pick, so I recommend getting one of these if you can. And that's it for me today. Hope you like this. Thank you.